Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope y'all are doing well. Today we're going to take a look at Amazon's Simple Notification Service or SNS. At first we're going to take a look at what it is and talk about a different system architectures where you can utilize SNS. Then we're going to jump into the code and use Python to create some SNS topics and then publish to that topic. And at the end, I'm going to show you an end-to-end -end flow that you can have using SNS, SQS, and even AWS Lambda. So let's jump into the first thing, which is going to be what is AWS SNS and how you can use it. So SNS is literally a simple notification service, like the name says. What it can do is you give it a message and it's going to deliver the message to everything that is subscribed to it, right? So uh, the highest level abstraction that SNS uses is called topics. Over here, you can see we have three topics and ev in every topic, you can keep on publishing messages. So topic is the highest level abstraction and within the topic, you can uh, publish as many messages as you want to. And what SNS is going to do is the moment there is a message in the topic, it's going to look at what are the subscribers or services that are subscribed to that topic. And then it's going to deliver that message to that subscriber. So let's imagine there is a SNS topic. Into that topic, we have a Lambda function that's subscribed and we have a SQS queue that's subscribed. And let's say we also have like an email and SMS uh, subscribing to this topic. So whenever a publisher publishes a message to this topic, all of these are going to be notified of that new message and they can do whatever they want with that message. So of course, the key thing and the most important thing in SNS is going to be uh, the concept of a topic. So we're going to jump into the code and I'm going to show you how you can create a topic using the Bodo3 client in Python. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and delete everything at first. And now let's import Bodo3, which is the Python AWS uh, uh, library. And then uh, very simple to get a reference to the client. All you have to do is uh, this. And the first thing we're going to do is create a new topic. Okay. So all you have to do is SNS dot create topic and then give it a topic name. Uh, let's say YouTube demo, uh, let's just do demo YouTube topic. Okay. And then we are going to print the response. Now let's run it over here. And you see, we got a response over here that has a bunch of things. Uh, key here is going to be the topic ARN. This is like the topic, uh, the topic identifier, which you're going to use to publish any messages to this topic. And then you get a bunch of other metadata. But now you have your topic created. If you go to the dashboard and do a refresh, you can see your new topic over here. And you also see the ARN over here. Now, uh, this is all about how you can create a topic, pretty straightforward. You can also go ahead and customize the topic uh, by adding some attributes, but I'm going to link the documentation in the description. You can look at that for more uh, details. The next thing we're going to take a look at is how can you list all the topics in your account? So for that, it's very simple. All you do is sns.list underscore topics. And then you're going to print out all the topics over here. There you go. I don't know what happened here. Oops, that is not what we want. We want Python 3. So let's not Py. Uh, and let me get rid of this. All right, and now let's run it again. So you see we're getting a list. Uh, the first topic we're getting is the demo YouTube topic, which is here. Then we're getting the node created topic, which is here. Then we're getting node deleted, the one over here. And finally, we're getting YouTube test topic, which is over here. So it's a very quick way, quick and easy way to see all the topics that you have. If you don't want to look at it through the UI or you have a programmatic uh, uh, need 
to list all the topics. All right, and then the next thing is uh, gonna be the more uh, important one, which is gonna be published to topic. So how do you do it? The first thing we're gonna need is that ARN. So let's just use the one we had before, which is gonna be the YouTube test topic. So we're gonna do YouTube test topic uh, SNS ARN, and then pass it in. There you go. And then let's say we're gonna publish 100 messages uh, to that topic. So you can do 100, and then literally you all you have to do is do SNS.publish. You give it the topic ARN, which is gonna be the topic uh, YouTube test topic ARN. And then you give it the message, which in our case is gonna be hello world. And then let's just put the uh, I in there. All right, we're gonna uh, print to, let's just do publishing message I. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go from zero to 100 and you'll see all the messages are gonna be uh, published. There you go. So there is no easy way to see the messages over here. So instead of looking at it over here, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you an end-to-end -end example to show you how it's gonna work, okay? So remember in the diagram, we saw you can easily populate an SQS queue using a AWS SNS topic. So let's try doing that over here now. Uh, this is gonna be pretty straightforward. So we have our topic, we are gonna use uh, the new topic that is demo YouTube topic, which does not have any message right now. We're gonna go to SQS. And then we are gonna create, uh, or we can just use an existing queue. Let's use this queue over here called test. We're gonna subscribe to a SNS topic. We're gonna choose the topic. So the topic we're gonna choose is demo YouTube topic and save. Okay. So now this queue should be listening to that uh, uh, notification a topic that we created. And every time there's a message, it should automatically ingest it into this queue. Okay. So one thing to note is you see messages available right now is zero. So we are gonna jump back to our SNS for a bit. Uh, where is it? There you go. And we wanna be publishing to the new topic we created called demo YouTube topic. So I'm gonna copy this and let's just call it, let's just call this demo. Okay. And let's copy and paste this number, uh, this ID. There you go. And now we are gonna publish the 100 messages. Okay. So I'm gonna go and uh, go to SQS here. Uh, there you go. So right now in this queue, you see there are zero messages available, right? And you know that this uh, test queue is subscribed to the demo YouTube topic where we're gonna be writing to. So let me go ahead and run it. So we started from zero, we're gonna go all the way to 99. That's when we're gonna know that all 99 messages have been published. Okay, there you go. Now, remember the test queue is subscribed to that topic. So if we refresh, we should expect the messages available to increase. Maybe not up to 99, because there might be some lo data loss somewhere, because we did not really configure the SNS topic correctly. And also the dashboard can be a bit glitchy, so I do expect to see a slightly lower number. Uh, let me just give it a moment. There you go. So yeah, there was no data loss, no nothing. You have all 100 messages that we just uh, that we just in uh, published from here. So this is a very easy way to populate your SQS queue. Uh, so what's happening essentially is you're writing to SNS, which is writing to the SQS queue. The queue is going to hold on to those 100 messages because you cannot hold messages in SNS. You have to hold them in SQS. And then you can either trigger a Lambda function based on the message in the queue, or uh, you can have other services polling the queue so that whenever there's a message, it can go ahead and consume the message. 
This way you can publish all your messages to SNS at whatever rate, uh, the fastest way you can upload. But your service can take its time to consume those messages because the messages are going to be retained in SQS. Instead, if you were directly doing it from SNS, SNS cannot hold on to the message. So you would have uh, had to have a consumer which could keep up with the rate of ingestion, which can get very tricky. Uh, similarly, instead of doing it through the queue, you can literally have a Lambda function which gets triggered every time there is a message in SNS. But this comes with other issues such as you cannot really batch things correctly. So if you want one Lambda function for every 10, 20 messages, it's difficult to do that in SNS, but more straightforward to do that with SQS. I am going to have a video where I'm going to detail the different uh, use cases of SNS and SQS and how the two are different from each other. Another use case of SNS, which I did not mention, is uh, you can use SNS to directly send an email or an SMS to your consumer. It's very straightforward to do that too. There is a way to configure SNS so that it can easily send these communications out very, very quickly. If you do your communications in this way, you don't have to worry about having infrastructure that can send things out very quickly because SNS is very, very performant. So it can literally send out SMS or emails as fast as you can send messages to SNS. So hopefully that was helpful and gave you a quick overview of what SNS is and how you can use it in Python. I'm going to link all the code and the documentation in the description. So please take a look at those if you want more details. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below and I'm gonna get back to you as soon as I can. With that being said, I hope you have a good rest of the day and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.